Hey guys, what's up? I'm on Arts here, and this is the second part of the Alphabet Text tutorial. And this is in Adobe After Effects, and I'm just covering the color correction I used and the camera shake I used, and it's not going to be a very long tutorial. It's just going to be pretty simple. So let's just import our footage. I'm just going to go to import recent footage because I already have it. And let's just drag this into the composition. And yeah, I don't know why I have this weird half screen thing. I don't really know how to... Oops, that's the problem. Alright, that's better. Alright, so you can see I got the footage. This is the same one I used on the um, actual finished product that I posted on my channel because I didn't want to render that version over there when I already have this one. So first, how to do the color correction. It's really easy. Just go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. And it's pretty much the same thing I did for my vintage, um, like vintage effect tutorial in Photoshop. So you're going to get this thing that comes up. You're going to go down to blue. And you're going to drag this point down a little bit and drag this point up a little bit. So already that's looking, I really like that effect. Once I started with it, I thought it was pretty good. And then you can go to green. You can just drag it so there's so it's a, there's a little bit more green like that, but not, not really that much. It also kind of bleaches the colors a little bit, so they're not as like contrasty. So something looks like that. And then you can go to red and do the same thing you did to the blue, except pretty much halfway, so drag or two-thirds away. So drag that point like that halfway, and then drag that point like halfway up. And that's pretty much it for the um, curves color correction and then how to do the camera shake again really easy just have your footage selected press P and you'll get this position thing and go to the beginning of your timeline kick, uh, click a keyframe and then go to the end of your timeline and click the keyframe button and then you're just gonna highlight both of these keyframes and then go to window check off wiggler and now you can, um, I made the magnitude about 9 or, or 8. And the frequency, I think like also maybe 8. So now if we apply it, you can see it just pretty much shakes around your footage. And you can always play around with those settings. It's going to be more like 6 or 5. Let's see. It's up to you guys. Just um, play around with the settings where you get something that you like. You might want to make the magnitude a little bit less. I think I had it too much. And you can see I have a big problem that you get those black lines or the black edges because it's shaking out of the scene. So the way to fix this, um, just go into your so many letter alphabet thing and go to transform. And just boost the scale up, uh, maybe one one ten percent. Maybe you don't even need that much. See how that works? And now you can see it's not going to shake out of the thing because the footage is bigger. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's your tutorial on how to make this really cool alphabet text in Cinema 40 and Adobe After Effects. So please like the video because it's kind of a pain making these tutorials. And please subscribe because we're trying to get to a thousand. So yeah guys, thanks for watching.